Hello family, welcome to Inspirational Journeys where we tell you inspiring stories behind artists. Today, we have the mother of the show. Huh? <laughs> the one who when she comes, no one is the same. We have to be psyched up, we have to speak in tongues, we have to all these things. Eh? We are introducing the, 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 Evelyn Wanjiro. <laughs> eh? The mother of the show. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. I'm honored to have you here. Yeah, that introduction is so sweet. <laughs> that little speaking tanks. Hey, we have to. <laughs> we have to. The energy you carry, we cannot come loco loco. No mm. more, no more. We mm. have to carry energy. Mm. Yeah, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm How fine. How are you Thank feeling you. today? Well, it's a bit cold out here, but uh, yeah, we are keeping on, keeping on. Hi, man. Mm. So we want to know, who is Evelyn Wanjiro? Well, Evelyn Wanjiro is a wife, she is a mother, she is a music director, she is a gospel musician based in Kenya, called nationally, called internationally. Amen. And uh, she is a fashion designer. Yeah, I have so many hats. Mm. I am a role model, I'm a mentor to so many girls and young men in the world. Amen. Yeah. Before we go even further, do you know people call you Iron Lady? I ah. iron lady. What does iron lady mean? <laughs> iron lady, the one who has things in order. Oh yeah, always. Okay. Uh, do you know? I like think, think things in things order. Things in order. Yeah, eh? of course. They have to you be have straight. To, you have but um, who inspires your music? Well, I'm inspired by so many people, mm -hmm. but not so many. God inspires me. He inspires me and uh, I have few women and men of God that inspires me as well. I think one of them is Amy Kosgei. She's one of the women that has really, you know, put me in that place where she wants me to do things in a certain way. I look up to her in so many things, number one. I have also, of course, Nathaniel Bassi, who has really been such an inspirational to our, in our generation, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, my mom is also my inspiration. Mm -hmm. She's such a woman that I, I admire. You know, uh, she, she might not be out there, but there are things she does and I'm like, wow, I, I admire that, I admire that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also my husband is my inspiration. He's uh, one of my mentors and my, my role models in my life. My, my, my journey has been very interesting, mm -hmm. but he's been there throughout. Amen. So he inspires me in so many ways. Yeah. And and what's what's the story behind Evelyn Wanjiru? Because mm -hmm. you recently released a song, Hinya mm -hmm. Wakwa, mm -hmm. and we were wondering what's the what's the motivation behind your song? Mm. What's the story behind Evelyn Wanjiru? Well, um, so most of my songs, basically, they are birthed out of a place of some disappointment, some joy, mm -hmm. some uh, circumstances that just happen around people's lives. And so Hinya Wakwa was a song but out of a situation that happened in my life. And I was like, God, you're my strength. Even in this, I am able to pull through because I know you're there. Mm -hmm. And so I don't get afraid because I know God has always got my back. And yeah, Hinya Wakwa, that's how it was birthed. Actually, it was it has been translated in from English to Kikuyu, Kikuyu. which is my vernacular language. Mm -hmm. We Kenyan Swiss speak Swahili, and so uh, this one is my dad's tribe. I'm coming from two tribes. My mom is Luya, my dad was Kikuyu, and so it's a song birthed from a place of so many questions, and God has been there Amen. to teach me so many things. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in this journey, even as God is teaching you, God is preparing you for international platforms, even as you have said, and God is doing great things in your lives. Are there any challenges that you have faced as a musician in this industry? Yeah, there's so many challenges that uh, one uh, encounters in this journey. Mm -hmm. I think one of the biggest challenges that a musician can uh, experience is, you know, just marketing your work to be out there ensuring that your this sound that God has placed in you is 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 hard mm. so marketing is a very huge challenge especially uh, if you manage to conquer your country to conquer it globally it's another strategy you need to have and just mm -hmm. 
yes, God is there, but also you need to have skills and strategies and structures on how to, to, to market your work out there for people to get to hear the music. We have so many platforms right now, like YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, where uh, Boomplay, where you can you can you can you can actually you know uh, ensure that your music is out there. We have TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, here, there's a new one called Threads, yes, and so yes. um, ensuring that your music is out there and people are able to consume it is one of the biggest challenge. Another challenge is. Um, I think this is the biggest of them all. When you, when you, when you do a song and it becomes uh, so popular in the ears of men, uh, there's such a huge expectation from men mm. for your next assignment, the next song that is coming out. So you have to really sit and hear what the Lord has for you. Mm. You can release a song today, it becomes really a big song. And then, um, the next song, you don't know, people are like, ah, this song is not like the other song. Mm. But no, every song is birthed in a certain season. Every song is, is, is deposited in your spirit by God at particular times. So there are songs that sometimes I tell people, this is my song. Like mm. it speaks to me alone. Probably might not speak to you, but I feel it's for me. There are songs that I do and I feel it, this is just for me. It doesn't need to really minister to someone else. It's ministering to me. But you know, somehow God just makes it so big out there and it speaks to so many people. So a, a challenge that I can attest and say that musicians experience is just expectation of men mm. doing a song that will also be, will be known more than the other song. And then Another challenge is maybe financial challenges that um, musicians encounter just to take a step of faith and starting something, starting even a project. I see the new is not a trend, but this is what really, I think it's one of the best uh, ways of just releasing a song, the live, live recordings. Uh, it's quite expensive and just to ensure that um, you do your live music out there, it's quite expensive. Mm. So for someone to get um, a minister or a musician to get money to go to the studio or to gather all these uh, people who can work around this particular project to be able to do the live music, it becomes costly. And um, with that, it makes, it can really kill your hopes and, 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 and morale because uh, the challenges of finances, somehow God comes through, mm. it's really coming up. Even, even going to the studio still is also a challenge. Uh, there are students which have different rate cards and it becomes hard for people to just be able, for a musician to be able to just pay the studio fee to go and record yeah. a song. Yet they are so talented and they want to do a song, but they don't, they don't know how to go, they don't know the how. Um, I think the last challenge is, um, getting to know the how yeah how do you start how do you go about this who do you network with who do you connect to who where do i enter which no door should i knock and so that's one of the biggest challenges that i've known that i also experienced that i remember there was a time i was looking for a certain company for ring buttons here in kenya by then, I used, I, I used to live in a different town, uh, not in Nairobi, where mm -hmm. is the capital city now where I live. Mm -hmm. I, I used to live in Nakuru, it's a, it's a different town. And uh, I, I'm telling you, I really struggle to get this company because people are telling me it's in a different place, a different, you know, um, uh, um, area in Nairobi. And I kept with, I think the whole week trying to get this company. So getting to know the how, how to go about it, whom to talk to, the who to talk to. It's, it's another thing. So God is still helping us. Mm -hmm. As we are growing, God connects you with different people. Yeah, so some of the challenges that I think we experience as uh, musicians. In the industry. Yeah, in the industry. And even as you're experiencing all these challenges, because I've seen there are many. Yes, there are. And people don't even know. Mm -hmm. They enjoy the crown. Mm -hmm. They want to enjoy the crown, but they don't know the challenges behind um all that you do mm -hmm. so even as you're facing all these challenges what who can you say supported you because there are so many people out there who are also facing these challenges and they don't know who to knock mm -hmm. at because mm -hmm. you've even said that you knocked at so many doors some turned you down some helped you but who supported you in all these 
challenges that wow. you have faced? Wow, I think support keeps on growing every day. Mm -hmm. You don't just get support one time. Mm -hmm. Like you have, it's 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 like a prolonged, it's like a series of people that have been aligned to support you. Mm. So um, one of the people that have supported me, of course, he's my husband. By then he used to be my boyfriend, my fiance. <laughs> My husband has really walked the journey with me, who is now my producer, has been my producer anyway up till now. Mm -hmm. uh, he's my music producer, he's my manager as well. And so he's really supported me, the journey. Uh, of course, my family has supported me, just uh, moral support, just ensuring financial support, you know, just pushing this, ensuring that this, this music is out there. And of course, my friends uh, have been there for me, uh, my church. Uh, Sitam Church has really been supportive. They've really, you know, stood and pushed this vision uh, just uh, at the top there. And so um, I, I think every day I have different people that come in to support the, mission, the, the vision that God has put, the, the, the assignment that God has mm -hmm. put in me. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 so the God much. sends you ravens in every season. Every season, God sends me raven. That is mm. it. Every season, God sends me raven. Uh, send, sends people to come uh, and and support. And uh, if I'm doing a certain project, God just in His own way orchestrates and and position men to come and just buy into the this this assignment. Into yeah, into the vision. What's the one thing that you would tell an artist who is coming up and they would want to also venture into this industry and they're looking forward to be the best that they could be? What advice would you give them? Start. Start. As, as you start, God comes in. If you don't start, he also he won't start. Mm -hmm. uh, your faith is what takes you to where you want to go. If you don't move, God will not be moved by you. He'll go and start with someone that is starting. Mm -hmm. And so uh, not I'll let them know that they should not fear because there's so much fear. You don't know, should I, if I start, will it, will it, will it be accepted? Uh, so I feel you need to start. You need to be courageous. You need to pray a lot mm -hmm. and stay at that place of prayer where God will start speaking and aligning people to come and just to walk the journey with you. So that's one of the things that people don't know. Prayer is very, very, very key. Very important. I, I remember we used to pray every Thursday. I think I shared with you, uh, the, yes, I think yes. a day before yesterday. And I told you how we used to pray with my husband. Every Thursday, we still pray. It's not how we used to. We still pray because we are prayerful people. Prayer moves mountains. Prayer moves the heart of God. And so that's a, an only, the only way when you have a koinonia with God, when you have a fellowship with God, he starts speaking to you and starts telling you things that you do not know, Amen. things that you need to know, how, where he's taking you. Sometimes you say, we, we don't know the way, but God is the one who positions us and, and makes a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. Yeah, so you start, be courageous, and just keep on praying. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Those three things. You yeah. start, be courageous, and you keep on praying. Yeah. And you have released a new song. Yes, please. Hey, people have loved it. Yeah. And we are grateful for the song. Mm -hmm. Would you give us a snippet of it? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a Kikuyu, so don't worry if you don't understand Kikuyu. Eh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like speaking Kikuyu. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, it's a Kikuyu. Kikuyu is my tribe. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, you can still get the song in, in English. It's called um, it's Jehovah Elohim. Uh, but this one is, we have just translated it. Jehovah Elohim is not Hinyawakwa. Hinyawakwa is my strength. So, we Hinyawakwa. Jehovah Elohim Amen. 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 Mm. It's an honor to have you on this show. Thank you. We are grateful that you are here. Where where can people find you and your music and your content and everything that's all about you? Well, I'm from East Africa, Kenya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm based in Nairobi. And uh, yes, if you want to get my music, if you want to get me, you can um, you can message us or DM us on Instagram. My Instagram page is Evelyn Wanjiro. Evelyn is E V E L Y N. Evelyn Wanjiro underscore A. On Twitter is at Evelyn Wanjiro underscore A. Mm -hmm. On Thread is at Evelyn Wanjiro underscore A. Uh, on where Facebook. 
uh, the one with the blue tick, evelynwanjiro.a, and also um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Evelyn Wanjiro. Yes. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for this. It's beautiful. Amen. Amen. That's it for inspirational journeys you've had from Evelyn. She has been an awesome guest. Thank you for watching the show. We look forward to also having you on the next show that we're going to be having. And also, if you have an inspiring story that you would want to tell us, an inspiring story of where God got you to where he's getting you. You're welcome to share your story with us. And you can find us on all Bweni Digital platforms, on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, and even on threads. Yes, thank you for watching the show. See you.